Okay, shut up everyone. Phil has spoken. He's got the YS3M. He's taken a look. Let's see what he's got to say in the cubicles video. This is the Huaman YS3M, and this is basically what we've been waiting for. Let's check it out. That's interesting already. Straight off the bat, Phil's suggesting that this is what people have been talking about. That this is the replacement for the Waylong, or at least it's a flagship. The title of the video is This is the Moyu flagship we've been waiting for. Is the Waylong dead? Is that it? Was the 2021 the last one? I'm already intrigued. Intrigued. Watching people trying to open cube boxes makes me happy. Whoa, that sounds dry. Good lock up here. It uh, definitely feels like a different cube. Definitely feels different to the super, according to old mate Phil here. When I touch it, it feels like an RS3M 2020. Looks like an RS3M. It feels closer to the RS3M 2020 than the super, but uh, not in a way that makes me feel like it's a lazy clone of a cube. Phil seems like he wants to hammer home that point through the video. He's suggesting that it's maybe a lazy comparison to compare it to an RS3M 2020. It has a very stubby corner foot, like a corner stock here. Ooh, There's some super cubes with stumpy. very long. Oh, here the we RS go. We're finally going to get a comparison with an RS3M super internals cool this is extremely stubby oh wow yeah look at that there are big differences here between the Huameng and the RS3M Super at least. The only thing that's the same is the Dragon Scales. Interesting. This will change the internal radius. So essentially the inside of the cube, this section forms a ball and the size of the ball changes how the cube feels. Science fans, it puts all of the mass further away from the center of the cube. So when you're turning, having all that mass towards the outside is gonna change the feel of that turn. You can see the different radius of that internal ball on these edge pieces as well. And remember that the RS3M Super internals are designed to have a ball core inside. So this suggests that the ball core of the YS3M itself is bigger than the ball core in the RS3M Super. This is not the same puzzle. There is no repetition of internals that we can see so far. This is like the first definitive evidence that we've seen that this isn't a clone of a cube or even a clone of part of a cube that we've seen before. So that's that's cool. So one thing I did notice about this cube is that the M slices are really fast. I can do an M2 with one finger. Wow, one finger M2s, that's pretty wild. The super has a kind of a blocky feel to it and it's kind of smooth once you break it in. I'm gonna put it out there. I freaking love the super RS3M standard. This one has a tactility to it. You can feel and you can hear the crispiness to it. I think performance wise, these two are pretty similar. Performance wise, the standard models, YS3M, Super RS3M, pretty similar according to Phil. All right, so we're gonna unbox the maglev one now. Hands up who's excited for the maglev one. Okay, so the inside, this is blue. This is purple. It was really cool that the Maglev Super had purple internals. Overall, releasing four versions of a cube is like overkill. Oh, 100%. We're in Tianma territory again. Remember the Tianma? So this is $20. This is $15. I think both are both are good. Wow, that's, yeah, see, five US dollars is quite a lot for nothing. I'm going to be investigating Maglev in a tier list video very soon featuring a special guest, so stay tuned for that. So this is the Bong Core. So we imagine this is going to be the most different compared to the ones that we've already tried. <laughs> there he is. Yu Shengdu's face is so serious. Why so serious? Right off the bat, you can immediately tell there's some extra stuff inside. That was kind of the same with the Super. You can tell with the ball core that there's a lot inside. You just couldn't really tell what it was there for. I don't feel like the cube is catching onto itself. When I was turning the standard one for the first time, I got a ton of lockups on the, the J perm. It looked a little bit more like hard work turning the standard than it does turning the ball core. Certainly in Phil's hands, anyway. I managed to make all cubes look hard work in these fat things. Woo. So the way that the magnet naturally attracts this piece is in this position. Yeah, that is interesting because I think some of the criticism on the RS3M super ball core was that the ball core magnets just weren't strong enough or the effect of them just wasn't strong enough to make it feel like it was worth having. So this suggests maybe they're a bit stronger because with that one piece in there overpowering the edge magnets. This is a good cube. Like, I, I genuinely believe straight this out. is the Moyu cube that you've been waiting for. Whoa! Straight out with it. This is a good cube. This is the Moyu cube that you've been waiting for. Dang, Phil, don't muck around. So let's expand on a couple of things Phil said. He said right at the start he reckons this is the new WRM or this is what we're getting instead of a WRM. He says that the price reflects the quality of the cube as far as he's experiencing it so far. And he's mentioned a adjustable magnets there. I wonder if there is an adjustable magnet version of this at some point in our future, or if there is going to be a worm.
arm, which is this with adjustable magnets. 26 bucks is a totally reasonable price for what Phil's showing us here. The magnets are okay for most people. They're a little bit strong, but you know, that's completely fine. Interesting, because I've seen another video I'm going to compare this with. Phil just said the magnets feel a little bit strong, which is in direct contradiction to a video that just came out from another famous Cube reviewer. Do you know who that could be? Hmm. We should set this up. Yes, get that goo in there, Phil. Timeline, after filming that part of the video, Phil then went on stream and was ripping solves on the ball core. Landed a six on stream, which was pretty swag. And it looks to me like they filmed this part after the stream, so. I can definitely see myself taking this to a comp and using it as my main. This is a glowing review. He is vibing on this thing, hey? Like, I don't care if people say this is similar to an RS3 in 2020. It huh. doesn't matter to me. I get really good times on this. Phil's so sassy in this video. He just don't care. It's kind of a shame it doesn't have adjustable magnets, but the magnet settings seem fine. <sighs> is it a shame that it doesn't have adjustable magnets? Rage out in the comments. Are you adjustable magnets, yes or no? I give it an easy A. It's a 10 out of 10. Phil, you has spoken, everyone. Huamang YS3M Ballcore is a 10 out of 10 puzzle. <laughs> what more is there to say? What more can I say to argue with Phil, hey?